Nope. Cops are here. Get the donuts ready! What's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege of Deluxe Class Prowl. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have the usual symbol there in the background. Siege, War for Cybertron, his name is Prowl Transformers. This side of the box. The usual beautiful artwork there on the side. On this side, we have some very nice artwork of a Prowl himself. He looks like he's about to flip some tables. He's a Deluxe Class, a Class of Deluxe, a Class of Deluxe, a Class of Deluxe. On the top, Autobot symbol, War for Cybertron. On the bottom, words and things and barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That can be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have a Prowl, and here he is in his vehicle mode, and he is a uh, a kind of Cybertronian police car, and um, a very sleek car, as you can see, very very sleek. He's like a he's he's like a stick of gum with wheels. It's crazy, but it's it's pretty cool though. Pretty cool. Well, let's get closer so we can take a look at the details. You have an Autobot symbol right up front there. You have some little. Spots of yellow on the headlights. The wheels are done in a transparent plastic with some silver painted there on the rims. And that says, whoop, whoop, the sign of the police. You know, you know, everybody knows. And you can see the transparent top section here with all of that silver paint behind it, which looks quite, quite cool. You got the light bar there done in red. In the back, there's the top, there's the bottom. He does have visible head syndrome, but you can turn his head around so you don't have to look at his face. There you go, he rolls as rolling things should, even though this one wheel doesn't roll very freely. The other, this one rolls freely, this one rolls freely. That one does, but this one is very stiff, so this one won't really, this one doesn't like to roll, doesn't like to hook up too well. It just, it's just stiff, but you know. otherwise it, it rolls. Decently, so there you go. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, Combiner Wars Prowl. Here he is with Prime and Sideswipe. Here he is with Ironhide and Hound. Let's see how that works out there. Here he is with Cog. And here he is with Leader Magnus. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with his uh with his little partner. There you go. Oh, that's adorable. That's precious. Now as far as weaponry goes, uh he does include his gun, which is just cast in white. Pretty nicely done. And you can store this right on top of the vehicle mode. It just tabs in right to the light bar right there. So you can have that going on if you want to. Uh, the light bar itself does unpeg. So if you want, you can plug the gun there and then plug the light bar up top. That's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And now he looks like a very sad wannabe helicopter. I don't know. I, I don't know. But hey, all things you can do. If you want to do it, but that is the uh, the official storage for the gun is that. So there you go, and that is a pretty much it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's get a good spin out of him. So we'll remove the gun, put that off to the side, and we shall proceed. So first thing that you want to do is come down here to the arms, and we're just going to. Bring his arms, get here, get, 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 there, take the arms, bring them forward, bring them out, bring the arms forward, bring them out, and we can open the doors, really you could have done that first, would have made getting the arms out easier, but it's okay, either way, and then we undo the doors, once you do that, you want to take this whole assembly here, and just pull this up, it's on a double hinge, so just bring that 
up and out of the way. At this point now, we can take the legs and just extend them out like so. Rotate at the waist. Split the legs. And then you're going to just bring the feet down. Come back here. Flip out the heel. Flip out the foot. Flip down the heel. And there you have his lower body all done. We can turn his head around now. So now what we're going to do, we're going to come up front. We're going to take this panel here, flip that out, take this section of the hood, and just push that through like that. And now we're going to bring this whole assembly down, and this section right here is going to go right in this cavity underneath his head, and just drop all of this down. The belly piece will just tab in right there. You just angle the door wings however you want. Rotate the shoulder, bring the arm down. Rotate the shoulder, bring the arm down. And that is it. And uh, there you have a Prowl in his robot mode. And he's a very G1-y, Cybertronian-y Prowl. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling this guy. I'm not feeling him. I don't know. I think he's my least favorite figure of this line so far. I don't know. Just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he's just okay to me. I don't know why, but he's just okay to me. But that's getting close here, so we can take a look at that knob. As you can see, some nice silver face. Silver, silver face. He doesn't have silver face. Silver paint there for the face. That's what I was trying to say. Blue for the eyes. You got that red there for the head crest. So pretty nice head sculpt. Got his stripes there on his biceps. Got some yellow there on the waist, which could have used a second coat because you can kind of see a little bit of the black bleeding through there. So that could use a second coat. And you can see a nice detail there going down the legs. His big old feet. In the back, you can see all this is just painted in silver. In the back, you can see there's a little bit of a Got a backpack sticking out there. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head kind of rotate, can't really tell if it's on the head. Yeah, it feels like it's on a ball joint. Sometimes, due to the way their heads are shaped, you can't really tell if it's on a ball joint. You get very limited, very limited wiggly-waggly. A little bit, very minor. But you can look up a little bit. You can look down. Head can rotate. Shoulders. Can do a full 360, can move in and out. You got bicep rotation, you have 90 degrees of a bend there at the elbow. You have wrist rotation, you have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, back very far. You can almost kick himself in the back of the head there. Outward, you can do the full split and it's on a, uh, on a soft ratchet there. Just thoop, 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 thoop. You do have thigh rotation uh, due to transformation. He has a full deep knee bend there. And the feet, they can move up, they can move down, and you do have ankle tiltage. Then, of course, we can give him his weapon here. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Um, another thing you can do is you can remove the, uh, the light bar here. And you can plug it onto the gun. So you can have that going on. Um, I've seen pictures with him holding it like an axe, and even in the instructions they refer to this as an axe mode, and um, he can't actually hold it though, because it doesn't, it just, it, he, he can't actually hold it as such, but it's supposed to be an axe mode, but I, 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 I don't know. And he does have ports on his shoulders, you can take the gun, plug it up here if you want, plug it on his forearm, you can plug it on his leg, you can do whatever you want with the gun. You can take all this and, you know, just store it on his back if you wish. As always, your toy, do whatever you want with it. So, you got that going on. And as far as the Battlemaster's effects parts go, of course, you can plug it to the end of the gun. So you can pew pew bang bang if you wish. You can plug it onto his shoulder. Ah, I'm getting shot. You know, plug it onto the bottoms of his heels here. Give him rocket feet. As always, lots of playability here, so. There you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with Combiner Wars Prowl, you stand. 
So you can see how they look side by side. Here he is with Ironhide and Hound. Here he is with Sideswipe and Cog. And here he is with Prime and Magnus. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with his little partner. Since they both turn into police cars. There you go. Here's your little buddy. This is going to be a new buddy cop movie. So, there you go. And of course, if you want, you can totally arm him up with the cockster. So, there you have Prowl. Um... I don't know. I, I like him. I don't love him. I don't know. I mean, I like the vehicle mode. I, I dig the design of the vehicle mode. And his robot mode looks fine. I just, I don't know. Just, just not feeling him. One thing that I think is funny about this figure is that he has no battle damage paint on him whatsoever. Like, Prowl kept himself clean. He kept himself totally clean during the war. Not even his toes. Nothing. He's, he kept himself totally, totally clean. But yeah, um, you know, as far as the figure itself goes, I mean, everything works as it should. You know, the transformation is, you know, smooth, fluid. So, not a bad figure. I don't think he's a bad figure, just just not my favorite. Don't know why, but, yeah. But there you go. Uh, so, these are popping up at Walmart. So, you might want to check your uh, local Walmart to see if they have these in stock. You can always check BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description uh, down below, so you can check that out. You can check out the Siege of Playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also, linked in the description uh, down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Siege Deluxe Class Prowl, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing, be a geek, be proud, BOOM IN YOUR FACE! What are you doing, Autobot? You can't detain me! I am Starscream! Yeah, tell it to somebody who cares. Oh, Starscream! I thought you were done doing Megatron's bidding. I didn't have a choice. He folded me up like a paper plane and just threw me over here. Ah, I see. You know, you deserve better than that. That's what I said! I could throw you so much farther. No, no, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. I'll show him! Oh, no. Holly, oops, Starscream! Huh? No!